studio the green slime that you can run an engine on without fueling the greenhouse effect. This looks like an ordinary diesel engine. Ooh. And it certainly sounds like a diesel engine. But in fact, it's been converted to run on algae, the most basic form of plant life. It's part of a system which could generate electricity economically and actually clean up the environment instead of polluting it. The algae fuel for the engine is grown in one of those, a biocoil. The biocoil is little more than one piece of plastic wound round and round and round in a giant spiral. But it's designed so that the algae are exposed to as much sunlight as possible, or in this case, the light comes from fluorescent tubes. As well as light, the algae obviously need food, but the strain of algae in here have been selected so they don't need expensive, fancy nutrients. In fact, they'll happily digest sewage. So the algae fuel can be grown cheaply and effluent can be cleaned up all at the same time. The algae go round and round the coil, growing and being siphoned off all the time, and you're left with vast quantities of green slime. Now, obviously, you can't pour that into a diesel engine but heat it dry it and grind it down and you get a fine green powder the particles of algae are roughly the same size as the droplets of diesel fuel the engine would normally burn and just like diesel the power is highly powder is highly combustible now I've got some in the pipette here so I hope to prove it to you <laughs> which I think I did I'll do it again so that you can see that the fine powder is incredibly flammable. Now you just pour this into the top of the engine and off you go. integrated system would use the waste heat from that engine to dry the algae coming out of the bio coil and what's even cleverer is that the carbon dioxide from the exhaust is fed the algae in the coil because they need carbon dioxide to grow in fact they use up exactly as much carbon dioxide in growing as they release when they're burned so an algae power station wouldn't con contribute to the greenhouse effect next year the British team behind all this will be operating the world's first algae power station providing electricity for 500 homes. They hope to prove that the simplest of plants can provide the ultimate green fuel.